It's time to take a look at the top three muskies that graced us with their presence in my boat in 2023. What's going on everybody? My name's Brian, you're watching Angling Anarchy. It's the end of the year, uh, December 30th, the day this video comes out. So what we're gonna do is take a look at the top three muskies that uh, we got on film this year. And we're gonna start with number three. Number three is a beautiful 48 and three quarters from Eagle Lake. It was a really cool fish because I was just talking about making my last cast. Look down, there she was. She hit in the figure eight right next to the boat. <laughs> I'll just let you catch him for the night. All right, I'm gonna give her a last cast magic here. There's fish. Big fish. Nice. Called this last spot, and I think I actually called my last cast. I'll have to watch the video, but we got one more for the night. Really exciting, another nice, looks like a mid 40 inch fish. Forty-eight and three quarters. Wow! Another Mondo Eagle Lake fish. What a day! What a freaking day! All right. Whew. That is so cool. While fish number three was from the August Eagle Lake trip, fish number two is a beautiful 50 incher that is from our spring trip that we caught casting in uh, some emerging weeds with a Lee Lures mini boiler maker, single eight, uh, fantastic bait for early season. Fish. Just barely hooked it. Okay, right here. I'm gonna swing it around. Uh oh.
here we go. Swim right in. Lift. There we go. There we go. Oh, it just gave me time to fight it. All right, that was really cool. Um, we'd all but given up for the day. We hadn't seen, we'd maybe seen one fish in almost a mile of weed bed. And uh, all of a sudden this thing just crushed a gold sucker, Lee Lures mini boiler maker. And after a hectic and chaotic net job, we got it. And that's the important thing, we got it. So I'm guessing this is about a four foot fish, give or take. Nice big old melon on her. All right, girl. Here we go. Oh boy, that is one hell of an Eagle Lake muskie. What a gorgeous animal. All right. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Nose is touching. It is 50. Wow. That's cool, dude. Okay. All right, girl, behave. Yeah, 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 yeah. One more look. She's made a mess of the boat, but that is quite all right. I will take that. Okay, all right, all right, all right. Yeah, she she did a 50 inch job of pooping up the front of the boat. Oh. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh. Wow, dude. That's awesome. That is awesome. All right. She wants to go. We're just gonna keep an eye on her. <laughs> and fish number one, the biggest one, is my new personal best. An amazing 53 and a half inch fish that uh, my friend Nathan and I got on the Northern Wisconsin opener. And it made the rounds on uh, Facebook, Instagram, all those places because the net job was hectic and chaotic. And, you know, there was a lot of people uh, getting on Nate for the net job. And you know what? It's a 40 pound fish. And until you're in that position, it's hard to say anything. You can, I mean, you can say all you want but until you have to actually do it. And the quick thinking that Nathan had uh, to swing the net around and scoop this fish after it got stuck and it is just, it was amazing. Best net job of the year. And uh, so happy that we were able to capture this fish. Right here, right here. Okay, okay. Right here, dude. I'm gonna bring him up. Okay. Right there, right there, right there, right there. Oh, you got him! Oh, you got him! Oh, you got him. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, oh, I'm gonna go ahead and apologize for Language. hyperventilating, but that's a save, man. <laughs> big time, big time. Oh, he okay. caught it, rolled right in the front. Of me. That was hectic, as musky fishing can be. It's another giant on the pelagic swim. I was probably rushing Nathan a little bit. Um, we were really trying to get this fish in. She got hooked and popped off and Nathan made the ultimate dive on the net to save it. But this is another giant fish. Oh my God. Okay. Guys, that is a mega, mega musky. Okay, let's see what we got.
it is 53 and a half right there. She touches 53 and a half. Boom, right there. Oh, personal best by an inch and a half. Oh my God. That is a 40 pound fish all day. I've never felt anything like this. Oh, amazing. Amazing. <laughs> all right, let's get her back in guys. Let's get her back in. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Get her tail. Get her tail. She flipped. Look at that thing. Look at that thing. Is that recording, Nathan? Yeah. Good. <laughs> I want to get her. Get her so her heads. Heads going forward. There we go. There we go. There we go, big girl. Filter one to tense up. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Kind of got a snub nose on her a little bit. Yeah. Okay. I feel like she wants to wants to go maybe. Go, lady. Oh, look at that. What an animal. What an animal. There you go, lady. There you go. There you go. Go, 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 go. <laughs> there she goes. <sighs> wow. I just want to make sure she's... Yeah, she, she swam down to the bottom. Oh my God, dude. Wow. I'm shaking for you. Uh, <laughs> 50. All right, those are the biggest ones that I got for the year. Still not done with 2023 videos, though. We'll have those going well into January and hopefully February. There are a couple of Eagle Lake fish uh, that are still coming up and a few trips in late December that I made with my good friend Colin Schlicht that you can look for. Also, if you're going to any of the musky expos, I will be at Chicago, which is in January. I don't know the exact dates. I will try to remember to put them in the description below. Chicago, Milwaukee in February, Musky Max at the beginning of March, and the Wisconsin Musky Expo in Wausau in the middle of March. I will be at those. If you're going to be at any of those, come to the cast, tackle booth, stop by and say hi. Uh, I would love it if you did. And with that, that's the last video of the year, people. It's been an awesome ride. It's been five years of doing this now and uh, loving every second of it. And I couldn't do it without you folks watching all this silliness. So I will say to end the video, thank you everyone for watching this mess and I'll see you on the next video.